Well, Guy, they started off today by presenting evidence uh, focusing on the co-defendant Patrick Stallworth's phone records. They showed several data maps illustrating his movements immediately after an Amber Alert, Amber Alert was issued for McKinney uh, back in 2019. Well, earlier today, the jury heard graphic details uh, about what led up to her death back in October of 2019. Assistant coroner Daniel Dye told them she was suffocated and that there were traces of methamphetamines, Benadryl, and a sleeping pill in her system. Once again, Brown and Patrick Stallworth were charged with McKinney's abduction. Stallworth was convicted last month. This morning, his aunt, Alicia Price, took the stand. She testified about a, a jail phone call between her and Brown during the search for the toddler. During that call, she said, this is about that child. This ain't about you. This is a high profile case. It is nationwide. I ain't got no time to sugarcoat nothing. At one point, Price cut to the chase. All I care about is where the baby is. Do you know where the child is at? Derek Brown replied, no, I don't. Well, just two days after that phone call, she changed her story. Brown did, in fact, told detectives that she did remember seeing Cupcake McKinney in her apartment the night of her disappearance and gave detectives information, which ultimately led them to her body. Live in Tuscaloosa, John Papke, WBTM 13.